Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. An update to Update 13 has just been released now for Tuesday the 9th of August 2022, and it also alludes to the anticipated conclusion of the Azimuth Saga. We're going to take a look at this press release, what's going to be available to Horizons players, and also what's going to be available to PC Elite Dangerous Odyssey players. Well, with update 13 now being announced for the 9th of August and the announcement that the Azimuth Saga, which seems to have been rattling on forever, finally coming to an end, this is good news, eh? And you can't say that it hasn't been busy in Elite Dangerous recently. What with community goals upon community goals upon community goals, trucking community goals, shooting community goals. Oh my God, you know, how many more community goals do we need? I want some different weapons. I've got all the salvation ones. I want to give the Thargoids a good old stuff in, if you know what I mean. But all this is going to come to a pinnacle, an apex, as it were, on August the 9th with update 13. They've also released, and I say they, it's the Royal They, it's Frontier and the Elite Dangerous team, in what's going to be available between people who play Horizons and people who play Odyssey. Now, as we know, and I suppose everybody knows, that Odyssey is not going to be made available on the console. It's a shame. There it is. No more needs to be said. PC players get the benefit of Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Console players do not. They do have a little bit of the Azimuth experience left to get in-game. So, let's have a look and see what you can get in-game if you're on a console and if you're playing it on PC with Elite Dangerous Odyssey. So straight off the bat, the big news is that Update 13 is coming on Tuesday the 9th of August 2022. But what they haven't said here is, oh, well, you know, we reserve the right, you know, to, ha to hold it back. Of course they do. There could well be, you know, on the 8th of August, hey, you know, something's gone wrong. We've done some testing and it's all gonna fall over. We're holding it back a couple of days. So don't be prepared for that to happen. And of course, you know, everyone wants to jump in and see that accumulation of the Azimuth story. So what they say is, it will always mark the beginning of the next major chapter in Elite and that conclusion of the Azimuth saga. And I don't know about you, but it has been going on quite a bit, hasn't it? It's been good. I think it could have been better, but it's been going on quite a bit. Anyway, so what they're saying is it's all going to take place and kick off in the system where I think everybody's been lately, which is HIP. 22460. So apparently that's where it's all going to be unfolding. Brilliant. So what they then say is that between Horizons, console players, and Odyssey, now they state at the moment these different versions are 3.8 for Horizons and version 4 for Odyssey. And they state as version 4 contains the foundational code which supports Odyssey content and a multitude of improvements added since Odyssey's launch. 3.8 does not. Brilliant. So, in the console update announcement that they made in March, they mentioned that aligning game development by releasing future content only on the post-Odyssey codebase. Some things people are going to be able to have, some things people are not going to be able to have. And that's what it all comes down to. So they want people and players, commanders, whatever we're calling ourselves, to have the best possible experience with narratives and new narrative gameplay elements, right? But there are going to be certain things that you're not going to have. Right, so they say station concourses. Well, you can't have that in Horizons, can you? No dramas. You can't have fleet carrier interiors because you can't walk about. That's a Horizons thing. Tenuous atmospheric planets. So that is basically weak atmosphere planets, right? Um, okay, fair enough. So you're not gonna be able to walk around on those. They also say that on-foot gameplay, well, we knew this, on-foot points of interest, again, that's not going to be available and you're not going to get the Odyssey ranks. Great, brilliant, goes without saying. What's important to note, though, is that, that in Horizons, there is going to be the Scorpion SRV. Cool, good on Horizons, people. You're going to be able to catch up with what's happened on Odyssey and use the tank SRV, which is the Scorpion. Great little tool, that is, no problems. 
What's also going to be included as well, they've updated the graphics, planetary rendering, all improvements, performance, graphics, UI, UX, etc. from post Odyssey updates and planetary settlements on non tenuous atmospheric planets. OK, so you've got tenuous planets and then you've got atmospheric planets. So just in case you hadn't swallowed a dictionary with your Cocoa Pops this morning, the definition of tenuous is having little substance or strength, flimsy or weak. So in relation to the statement where they make planetary settlements on non-tenuous atmospheric planets being available in Horizons and in Odyssey, I think it basically means is, well, if there's a settlement there where you can get out and have a drive around, you're going to get one, right? Um, tenuous atmospheric planets, so flimsy substance, weak, really light atmosphered. Hmm, take from that what you will. So quite a few things they're bringing in, but perhaps one of the most important things there, floor player, multi-crew between players on the same version. Brilliant. Four player multi-crew between players on the same version. But does this mean if people are on Horizons version 4, right, on a console, grill, can they play against PC players? on Odyssey version 4 as well and have that sort of like that multi crew I'm not sure I'm not sure how that would work especially if, well I'm going to go land on the planet what do you do stay on the ship I don't know who knows so what they say uh, with regards to how this affects the conclusion of the Azimuth saga delivering on our promise that's frontiers not mine of course to offer the best possible narrative content requires taking full advantage of version 4 so what they're saying is upgrade to Odyssey version 4, right? Therefore, Horizons players will be able to witness the final event in the Azimuth Saga and access related gameplay scenarios. Moving forwards, all PC players will have access to the content in the next narrative phase, given they are using version 4, except in cases where on-foot gameplay and extension. Odyssey is required. So, kind of goes without saying, they said a lot, but not really said much, have they? We know it's coming on the 9th of August. That's update 13, goes without saying. We know it's going to happen in the HIP 22460 system. We know it's going to be the accumulation of the Azimuth Saga, and it marks the start of a new era in the Elite Dangerous. Bab. And then there's one or two questions I've got there. Well, perhaps the main one between the four-player multi-crew between players on the same version. I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean console to PC play. But hey... They might have surprised us, but I'm pretty sure they would have mentioned that. I reckon it's, well, if you've got Horizons on PC and you're running Odyssey on PC and they're both version 4, then you are Diamond. But who knows? They might surprise us. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this short video. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos in the series and more updates on Update 13 and what's happening with good old Azimuth. <laughs>